a beginner's guide to coding for a website. Hello and welcome to VideoJug. There are lots and lots of different sorts of websites out there and quite a few different ways in which they're put together. We're never going to be able to cover all of them in one single film. There are entire libraries of books available for single languages such as HTML alone. Instead, we'll take you through what some of the different options are and how each is used to make websites. Step 1. HTML HTML is the granddaddy of web coding. It's how it all began. Most websites still use HTML in some way, shape or form, so it's an important language to understand. HTML lays out a web page and dictates how it looks. It can also be used to change fonts and all that sort of thing, as well as embedding images and tables. Watch Video Jug's Beginner's Guide to HTML if you want to know more about how it's all laid out. Step 2. CSS CSS is a relative newcomer, although it's been the standard for formatting content for about 10 years really and has evolved since its first inception. It's used in conjunction with HTML or XHTML and is fast becoming the standard for organising layout on web pages. That's all the headers, width of the page, font sizes and colour and what have you. It can even be used with XML documents, which is a sort of structured data document. CSS makes things an awful lot easier from a designer's point of view, as making broad changes across an entire website is often a matter of editing a single value, such as font size. Watch Video Jug's Beginner's Guide to CSS if you want to know more about how CSS is used. Step 3. PHP. PHP is unique because it's dynamic. What that means is the web page can change according to certain factors. What's written in HTML stays on the page until the designer gets his fingers mucky and changes something whereas PHP can be embedded into an HTML page and the code is executed in much the same way that an application on your PC is executed when you double-click on the icon. Step 4. Flash. Flash is a swishy but slow-loading sort of website. It's mainly made in Adobe software and played through a Flash player, which the user needs to have installed. Flash can also be used to write complex web games, which gives you some idea as to what's possible with websites. All manner of fading and animated text can be incorporated, and Flash development is comparatively easy. There are other forms of code for websites, but these make up the vast bulk of what's out there. Picking which one to use is largely dependent on how you want your website to look. Style over substance sites for a photographer, for example, would probably be best done using Flash. Something complex, with lots of functionality and bits and bobs, like VideoJug, uses a combination of ASP.NET and CSS. Done.